last stage, whatever you want to call it. And that's basically what a cell looks like. Um, so, the cell is the simplest unit that can carry out all the processes of life. So this, right here, is so essential to life. I mean, this, it, it does everything. It really does. So, the third rule, all cells come from other cells. And therefore, they can't come from non-living matter. So I want you, what I want you to get from this is that um, the third rule, all cells, such as this one right here, um, come from other cells, which means that this cell came from this cell, um, and it split. this one split into two, and that's basically getting into um, cell division, which is what I'm going to explain next. So cell division is um, basically um, made of three stages. Interphase, mitosis, cytokinesis, um, and that's basically it. So interphase is the first one, and interphase is the beginning and the end. Interphase looks just like that. Um, and again, this is your nucleus, you got a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, then you got your centrioles and your asters up here. Okay, so what happens in interphase, um, which is its own category, interphase. Okay, so basically what happens in interphase is that um, we see that the cell form new organelles. Uh, and the DNA, or basically its chemical makeup, uh, is replicated from the previous cell. So again, this is where the third cell rule comes in. All, uh, all cells come from other cells. So this one uh, is a replica of one that was there before it. Um, so that was interphase. Now, here, we're going to do mitosis, or starting mitosis, which is the second step in cell division, you could say. So mitosis is another category of the three. So we're going to just split this up here. This is interphase, this is mitosis, and it's all part of the same process. So within mito mitosis, you have four stages as well. The first one is what we're going to discuss now, prophase. So prophase is um, basically when the chromosomes shorten and thicken. Um, so this is because of the coiling DNA molecules that uh, basically compose them. So prophase looks like this. And then you do your nucleus. Some stuff in there. And basically the difference between these two, just from looking at it right now and from my drawings, because it's not exactly accurate, um, you can see that there's these things right here. And what those are, are spindle fibers. And around them we're just going to do, you know, your centrioles and your asters. There we go, something like that. Um, so, again, um, when we're looking at prophase, um, we see that the centrosomes move to the opposite poles of the cell. Think of these as north, north pole and south pole. So this will be north up here. Actually, here, let me do this in a different color. Um, we'll say green. So this is the North Pole, this is the South Pole. And we can see that they're separating. Um, here, let me represent that a little bit better. These are separating from each other and to the different poles. North, South. So um, when that's happening, the, the spindle fibers appear and also begin to orient between the opposing poles, which is this. This is the spindle fibers, these right here. And we can see that they're moving from south north, goes to north, and south goes to south. And they're splitting up. So um, we also see the nucleoli and the nuclear membrane vanish. So that is gone. Um, next in the mitosis cycle is metaphase. Uh, let me get back to black here. So, 
metaphase. I'm not gonna write the whole thing, I don't think. Actually, yeah, sure, why not? So, metaphase um, is also quite important. And metaphase um, is basically when the chromosomes simply align across the equator. Um, and that was just a reference because we were using north and south poles, but basically it just means the center of the spindle fiber at the centromere. So what that looks like is basically like we got our spindle fibers here and they, they're on opposite ends. Get this drawn pretty quick, I guess. So, and we can see that the kind of splitting up here and then we got these. I'll draw them pretty quick. Um, and that's all that's happening. It's just basically splitting up and, they and uh, the chromosomes, which are these X's here, um, they're, they're just lying across the center. That's all it is. So it's a pretty simple step. And because I don't have enough room, I'm going to move down here and continue. So the next step is anaphase. Anaphase. Now, anaphase is the third step um, to mitosis. So, in anaphase, um, basically, um, all that happens is that each centromere splits, thereby detaching two chromatids that compose each chromosome from each other, and they elongate in the process. So, what that looks like is something like this. So you can see that the cells are kind of splitting right now, um, and the sister chromatids are basically this. So again, you're seeing north and south, uh, though it's not represented like that in the picture that I'm drawing here, but you get my point. So let me just draw these. These are the chromosomes in the previous picture that were X's, and they're just splitting up and they're being drawn to each different side. So something like that. This isn't going to be completely accurate. I'm just doing my best here. Um, so again, you can see they're separating. Um, and, and the sister chromatids, as I said, uh, let's see, these right here are the sister chromatids. They are moving to the opposite poles. And there are now twice as many chromosomes as were before mitosis started because you have uh, the chromosomes, which were right here, down the middle, and they're pulled apart. So you basically have, you know, uh, two times the amount. So that is the end of anaphase, and next begins telophase. Now, what telophase is, is the very last step to mitosis, but there's still some other steps to cell division. So telophase is spelled like this. Write that down if you want to. Um, and basically, it, again, it's the last step So the, for mitosis specifically. So within telophase, the last, it's, uh, um, telophase is occurring. It creates new chromosomes, um, which again, they elongate. Um, and then a nuclear envelope forms again to enclose each new set of chromosomes. And the spindle fibers completely disappear. So what this looks like, is more of an advanced uh, stage of anaphase, I guess you could say. So what we're going to see here is that this, the two um, different, or cell, the cell is still attached, but you can see that it's about to split right down the center here. So I'm just going to show you. See, it's just about to split. So, um, and again, it's just it's it's creating new chromosomes they're elongating which just means they're stretching apart um, and the nuclear envelope develops which just means that it's basically creating um, two new nuclei or nucleus yeah nuclei um, but it's not complete nuclei yet so then we got these and just like that that is telophase so finally we are entering cytokinesis, which is an entirely different uh, process or 
a phase. So we're just going to draw a line right here to signify that we're entering a new stage. And again, I'm moving down because I don't have that much space. So cytokinesis is a long word, and it's a pretty important step. Basically what happens is that what we saw happen up in telophase here, um, it's getting split right down the middle and creating two new cells. So the way you can see it is that the cytoplasms are dividing. So let me just switch back to black here. And it, again, it, it's pretty much the same like that. So again, final stage of cell division, it's basically like this, and what happens in it is that uh, the cell cytoplasm divides, as I've said, um, which just looks like this, and then we'll just draw some lines in here, make it look fancy, um, and what's happening so that's forming two new daughter cells. And what a daughter cell is, is basically when a cell splits um, and creates two cells. Uh, this is called asexual reproduction. And basically, it's when a single parent produces offspring. So like I just said, splits in two. Um, and then, in this case, their offspring are exact replicas of their parent cells. So, so basically what just happens here is just that it basically disconnects from each other. So, and then the very, uh, this is the final stage, so again, it just splits right down the middle. Actually, let me do this in red, just to make it look a little more dramatic. Um, so the reason I have it attached though is just so I can show you what's happening. So it just splits right down the middle like that, right down the middle, like a surgeon. Um, and that's basically what happens. And then that is the end of um, the cell cell division. However, if you would like to continue, um, and I'm just going to do this for fun. Um, so basically, interface starts over again because you just created um, a new cell or two new cells. So with the two new daughter cells, um, they begin to enter interface. And again, the cell cycle is such a beautiful thing because it just keeps moving um, over and over again. So this is going to be the beginning of interface because this is where it all starts. This is where everything begins of interface. I'm having so much fun writing these. So as that happened, you can see beginning of interface We'll do this in green. Um, interphase is there, and this is when the new cell starts. This is the end of interphase. Mitosis is mitosis. Um, is again, it's the four steps: prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So once that's done, it creates um, again two new cells. Cytokinesis is what happens next. This is the end of it, and basically again, it just creates a new cell. That's cell division, folks. Uh, if you like that, then uh, subscribe, I guess, to SpyLover98. I don't know if I'll do any more, but possibly. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.